Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Marco, your host for today, and I'm going to be doing a little review on this uh, Toro 22 inch uh, recycling lawnmower. I own a previous version of it, so I purchased this one and I uh, wanted to see if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to send it back. So stay tuned, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. I try to answer all the questions, and I hope that I have all the answers for you before you purchase it and uh, so you can make a decision. I love these wheel upgrades. They look beautiful. The black bag. The only thing that I kind of was a little bit disappointed when I ordered the 163cc engine, it doesn't come with a smart stove. So I couldn't put it against the wall. So I ended up getting the 150cc motor. And I have to say, I believe it's a little under power. But, you know, it cuts well. The machine looks great. So let's get to the little nitty gritties here. So, as you know, Toro doesn't, um, you know, you don't have to change the oils and you don't have to do any choke or anything like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, gas tank's well sized, there's no issues there. This thing turns on first uh, pull every single time, which I love about this machine. So, this is the new one with the Vortex system, and I have to say, it does work pretty well. I feel that uh, it does pick up a lot of the leaves more than. The one that doesn't have this little system here. As far as uh, quality control, the logo's a little kind of sideways, but that's no big deal. Um, concerning is the thinness of the wheels. Very, very thin. Um, they're gorgeous. I just don't know about durability. The deck's about the same as the old one. It has the front guard to protect it, which is a pretty nice little, little feature. Um, as many people complain about the Toro, old school, these levers gotta go. They're not labeled and uh, you know they're a pain in the butt to actually move around. So in a case like mine I usually cut the front a little bit lower than the back. Don't ask me why but for some reason because I don't cut the back as often as I do as the front. But alright so this one does come with a 150cc. Alright. Relatively quiet machine. Pretty really nice. Same thing on this side, nice wheels. Alright, so they redesigned this whole rear deck. And uh, one of my main things for buying the Toro was because uh, you, you're able to, you know, put it, uh, store it vertically. And I love that. So, they redesigned this from the previous year. I don't like it, to be honest with you. It reminds me of the Honda. One of the reasons why I got rid of it is because of this. This back here, all this little area here. Now you look at it, this little space, two inch space. A lot of the clippings get out all over the deck, which is uh, not very convenient, I guess. But it's no big deal. I mean, you're cutting the grass. So the bag is black, it was white before, which is pretty, pretty uh, nice upgrade. I like the fact that so it stays looking, you know, a little bit cleaner. All right, so back here. This thing is so comfortable. The only thing I don't like about it that it's way wider. It's an inch and a half wider. So, you know, when you go and you cut, like say in my, my case uh, along the fence, this, you know, you need to be able to push the machine to the side uh, as you cut because it runs into the fence, as you can see here, you know, which is kind of normal, but it's so much wider. Well, it's an inch and a half. So, uh, the other one was actually, you know, in more and uh, you're able to move it around a little easier in the corner tight spots and that's where that, that uh, you know this uh, new system it's uh, lacking the size they should have made it a little bit more narrow I don't know why they added all this material to the to the handles but it is way comfortable like almost effortless so <clears throat> one of the things that I'm kind of concerned about is the the weight right now it's empty but when you get the bag like halfway it's 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 like almost like a teeter totter. You know, it's like it's very very easy to uh, lift in the front. It is good for turning, I do have to say, but it bounces a little bit. But there's a little bit of an offset with this with this um, personal pace that you kind of push forward and you kind of push the machine down. So in a way, it's not so bad. I do like the fact that it's more balanced. Uh, it is lighter than the 163cc uh, one that I currently have. So it, it is, it is when it comes to that, it feels more agile. Um, the other one weighs a lot more. But uh, 
uh, that's just pretty much it. You know, the cut quality is about the same. It cuts pretty good. It does leave a little stragglers here and there, which is pretty standard. The mulching is great. I'm very, very happy with it. I do a little bit of both. So, you know, when I cut under this black olive tree that I have, I get a lot of leaves. So I tend to want to suck some of them up. You know, I get in there. I know that won't suck everything up, but It's got enough power to suck up as much as possible. So, in conclusion, I do like the machine. I like the balance. I don't like the little design here. A lot of the leaves come out the side and stuff like that. A lot of the clippings. I always use non-ethanol gas so on all my equipment, so it lasts a little bit longer. And, you know, for many, many years of uh, service. But this machine, I have to say, I like it. Um, I wish I could have purchased the 163cc uh, motor instead of the 150. Um, another issue that I have is like I have a slope on the lake and it won't have enough power to climb up. Um, when it's empty with no bag it's it's okay but when it has the bag and it's like halfway but sometimes I have a lot of weeds back there so I do bag those you know the, the, the clippings of the weeds I, I pick them up so I, um, I have a hard time pushing it. It just doesn't go. The other one works fine. So that's the only thing that I'm, you know, uh, having an issue with. The, the, you know, the power, a little bit of the power going up the slope. If you have a flat surface and there's no reason why, this machine, um, you know, won't cut perfect for you. Like I say, I do like the Vortex technology. Uh, for me, it works really nice. And everything else is great. You know, she's good on gas and very, very comfortable. So for, I got about, uh, I would say 10,000 square foot lot, and any cuts are fine. I could probably do two cuts with one uh, one tank, or two and a half. So when it comes to that, definitely pretty sweet. All right guys, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. Seems to me it's uh, pretty much the same as the other ones. You get the transmission over here. And what I like about doing the recycle, you don't have to be putting no insert or anything like that. It's just a lever, which is pretty cool. This one came with a mulching blade. Um, I believe the Honda does a little bit better at the mulching because it's got the two blades on it. Uh, one of the things that's like my pet peeve is this shit here. You know, why does the grass get stuck here? You know, I'm about to like put like silicone in there or something. Get ready for Halloween, you know, dang hay here. So, all right, and like I said before, tires, super, super thin, look at this thing. So far, you know, obviously I don't abuse it, so hopefully it should last me. But uh, yeah, always remember if you're gonna do anything with the blade, I always disconnect the, the spot plug cable. And sometimes I even take the spot plug out, just in case. Anything, you know, compresses or anything like that, so safety first. But yeah, definitely the wheels look pretty cool. It's got a lot of meat on them, so they should last a bit if they don't break. So, uh, you know, maybe a tour will do some testing. And uh, here are the tires. They spin pretty good. So, did they come with a little bit of grease? They're okay, they're not ball bearings, just plastic to metal. And, uh, you know, when you stand it up, obviously it's in the grass now. It'll be nice and straight. And the only thing that changes is the little vortex which is basically, you know, more air coming out of the deck uh, so it can have more suction power. I mean, it's pretty clever. But well, one of the things I don't like, it doesn't have the, the water hose deck cleaning option and the side discharge. So make sure that before you buy it, you look at these things. If you need the side discharge because you cut super high grass, then this is going to be a tough one. Instead of doing the side discharge, what they did was the same thing as the Honda. That's why they redesigned the back so they don't need to do the side discharge. The way they designed it, so the grass comes out of here, out of the bottom. So that's kind of like the same thing as the side discharge. So I guess behind this complete change came this change. So now the side discharge is out the back instead of out the side. 
Well, I guess that's clever in a way. All right, guys. So right now, maybe try them bagging or mulching. And uh, the new lawnmower, the one six, the one fifty cc uh, Toro. You can feel it struggling a little bit. So I did put it a little shorter, a little closer to the ground. So I could pick up some. Uh, you know, extra leaves and debris and all that stuff and this is basically you know so i feel it struggling the other one you know 163 cc motor didn't even budge but i had gra uh, tall grass i could hear the engine kind of like saying hey you know what's going on out there you know so i'm gonna give it one more whack as far as the lake and uh but i'm gonna wait until the grass gets a little higher because right now the grass is Pretty much, um, you know, cut a few days ago. This one's a little older. I did both the uh, mulching and bagging so I started with the mulch I mean with the bagging then uh, the mulch but uh, see what I'm talking about the grass the grass gets all over the deck and I just cut a little this little section here I didn't even finish the whole um, incline by the lake so the bag is possibly half full look at this literally she'll stay so that shows you how light she is look it's like almost like perfectly balanced look at that <laughs> so that's the bag half full or half empty whichever way you want to look at it so she cuts pretty good i i'm not going to complain about the cut all right so this section here is where i bagged and occasionally it'll leave a couple stragglers here and there but my you know my Honda did the same thing the other one with the more power did the same thing so you know this is the mulch side same thing you know you get a little straggler like here one right there so you know overall the cut's not bad it could be a little bit better All right, guys, in this test, I'm going to be using my uh, decibel meter to give us an idea how loud the machine is. Uh, also, we're going to be doing with the mulch on and the bagging because um, <clears throat> it does have a little flap that makes it just a little quieter when you do the mulch. So let's turn her up and uh, check it out. <laughs> 